This is a smart strand carpet torture test. So we have three different uh, degrees of bleach on the left here, starting at 100%, 20%, and then 5%. Got permanent marker. We've got three kinds of non-washable marker. We've got four dots of food color dye. We've got permanent marker, which then I've cleaned with acetone. Got, um, I think that's uh, soy sauce here. Um, that's rice vinegar there, balsamic vinegar there, and mustard here. So we're going to let this dry for a while, and then after it's dried, we're going to try to clean it with water and then whatever is necessary to get it clean. Well, believe it or not, this is the exact same piece of carpet that is bleach. Let's put all along here. There's a permanent marker, several different colors, as you can see from the backing. There's all the colors, marking pens that I put on there. Permanent marker line, and then a whole bunch of different food stains. Now, I can actually see some of the um, mustard still right there. And then here's the spot where I had washed out... Uh, uh, permanent marker, it's still there. So now comes some other stuff. I've got some nail polish remover, some alcohol, goof off, goo gone, and I'll also try some carpet cleaner first. Okay, well, after treatment with basic carpet shampoo, uh, the permanent marker is still there, but I don't see that uh, mastered anymore. So now we're going to try. Something a little bit stronger, I think, maybe some alcohol. Alright, on the top half, we've tried alcohol. And then on the bottom half, we've tried Goo Gun. And the alcohol is definitely working, taking off a lot of that permanent marker, but not all of it. And then the Goo Gun didn't seem to do anything. I think next I'm going to try some uh, nail polish remover and goof off and see how that helps. But you notice, I noticed on the left there, permanent marker is almost gone, and that was where the bleach was, so I suspect bleach will be the best remover. Okay, well, we tried nail polish remover, and that actually worked pretty well. I could see stuff coming off. Not everything, though. I finally went to goof off, and that really didn't seem to do much more than the nail polish remover had done. Of course, it's much stronger. You can really smell the fumes. So, uh, my last step is I'm going to go back to bleach and see if I can do that. Okay, so, after applying bleach and green clean and OxyClean and anything I could think of, um, the piece is just about completely clean. There's still a little bit visible of a line right down the middle here, tiny, tiny bit here, tiny bit here but almost completely clean. And again, so everything organic came out after water and a little bit of carpet cleaner. Now, you probably should be wondering, what does this piece really look like compared to the original piece? Here's the, Now, this is still wet, so it's got a little bit of uh, darkness to it. But there is the original piece. Never seen anything at all. There is the, the old piece. You can see it. You can still see a little bit of a line there and there, but um, really, that, might look, that looks remarkably good. And so basically, I think Smart Strand passed my test. I didn't really expect the permanent marker to come out. I was just kind of fascinated by that. So good job, Smart Strand.